guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and this is a three-way web browser test for the iPhone 3GS, the HTC Desire, and the HTC HD2. All three of these devices are best in class for their operating system. So, of course, we have Windows Mobile, Android, and, of course, the iPhone operating system. So it'll be very interesting to see how these very powerful, very capable devices uh, compete against one another. I should also mention that I have set all of them to maximum screen brightness so that if you're shopping for any of these devices, you can get a sense for how they compare uh, in terms of color clarity and contrast and that kind of thing. So I'm going to turn on the iPhone here. And then here we go. Okay. All right, and we have quick links ready to go. So let me see if I can get these at the same time. Um... Okay, and obviously the uh, HD2 is going to struggle a little bit because um, looks like we have an advertisement here. Okay, and it looks like the iPhone won in that round. Let's zoom in a little bit to this headline and pan around. Let's zoom in. Looks like it's still loading, but there it goes. And over here, we can't do a multi-touch because Opera Mobile 10 doesn't support it. So we can tap once, and it'll zoom in quickly. So let's tap on this headline. I'll see if I can do it at the same time. Let me get a little bit closer. OK. Let's try it. There they go. And they're off. Looks like the HD2 is iPhone finished, Desire finished, and the HD2 finished at the last second. Okay, let's, uh, let's go in closer to another area, and let's go into the HD2 review. That's a very big page. And you can see that the multi-touch on the HTC Desire is very good, but not as smooth as the iPhone. So let's see if we can click on this HD2 review at the exact same time. Um, okay, let's try it. Good. Let's see which one gets it first. Lots of images on this page. Wow, Desire finished first. Followed by the 3GS, followed by the HD2, very closely behind. Okay, let's, uh, let's do one more test on Pocket now, then we'll load another page. Let's go to page two, which has even more images in this HD2 review. So get it positioned here. All right, let's do it. And they're off. Desire finished first. Again, beat the 3GS. Up, oh, something up. Oh, yep, it finished. Okay, so it looked like the Desire finished first followed by both of these devices at the same time. They're all very, very good web browsers. Let's flip down the page and see how they look. They all have very smooth scrolling. Uh, the Desire is a little bit faster than the iPhone. And let me zoom back out. And the HD2 is about the same speed of the iPhone, a little bit slower. Let's test screen rotation. Um, so we're going to zoom out a little bit. Let's first test the Desire with the iPhone 3GS. Okay, the Desire won there. Let's do the other way. The Desire won again. Let's test the Desire with the HD2, see which one rotates faster. Okay, go. Desire won. Let's try it this way. So it looks like the Desire is the winner in terms of screen rotation speed test, and it also beat the iPhone two times, two out of three times, in page rendering. Um, I find that overall the, the web performance of the HTC Desire, for the most part, beats, beats the iPhone 3GS and the HD2 on a regular basis. Let's go to another website. Let's go to Engadget here. Very fast, really fantastic fidelity here. You get to see all the images just like they were intended. It supports Flash most of the time. Um, a lot of advertisements come through just fine. You get this nice full screen view, which you don't get on the iPhone because you have the top and bottom bar always present. But on the HTC Desire, the browser works fantastically well. You don't get any checkerboard when you scroll down quickly. It's very precise. It's easy to zoom in. 
the, the browsing on the Desire is one of the best experiences that I've ever had on a mobile device. And, and that's saying something. So that's it for the look at the web browsing experience on the HTC Desire. I'd say that uh, undoubtedly the HTC Desire is a fantastic internet browsing machine. Coming up in the full review on PocketNow.com, we're going to talk about battery life, more about performance, and talk more about the overall experience in using this device compared to other devices. To know exactly when the review hits, be sure to follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash pocketnowtweets. That's it for now.